saw a lot of us know what happened on the weekend. A Gold Coast fan posted a completely insulting and unnecessary tweet about Saints Ruckman Paddy Ryder. It went further than a personal dig. The Suns fan referred to Patrick Ryder as Blackie Ryder, and it's completely unacceptable. Now I'll start by saying, in no way do I support this behaviour. We're better than that. You can insult someone without needing to use race to do so. I'm here to say I support people equally, and I'm the last person who's going to join a gang of bullies for some popularity points as well. Some of these people really need to ask themselves, are they here because they care about racism, or are they here to agree with one another for likes and popularity? Now the last thing we need is pathetic danger flog chiming in to save the day. He always does this, supports popular topics to boost his reputation as an upstanding leader of the AFLPA. To use his public profile to name and shame a regular Joe who made a bad decision is disgusting and doesn't solve anything. He is chucking gasoline on the fire. The Suns fan has copped a ton of abuse from nearly every footy fan in the country, and yes, he deserves a lot of it, but there also comes a point where it goes too far. Twitter trolls have chased him around on every platform and cancel cultured him, making fun of his appearance, his mental stability, you name it. A heap of users finding his workplace and putting it on the company to sack the guy. Now let me ask you a question. Does making fun of someone's appearance and mental capacity make you better than him making fun of someone's skin colour and mental capacity? It's just not justified in any way. Anyone who justifies this is a total hypocrite and shows how mad the world has really become. There are many great indigenous legends, players and medias of the member who can shed a light on this type of behaviour without a bunch of social justice warriors needing to band together to bully someone. I have heard reports of this young man being suicidal from the abuse and death threats he has received. It's very sad. Now I put it on the AFL to heavily sanction Danger Flog. He represents the league and is one of the faces. He defamed the man and hung him and his details out to dry. If the league cares for mental health as much as it does racism, then they will help resolve this matter immediately. Anyway guys, I know this video is going to be understood by some, but also misunderstood by some. So I just want to repeat, I'm against racism and I happen to care just as much for well-being. See you guys in the next one.